Ah, you don't have to be a doctor to know that half the trouble these days is that everyone's gone soft. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, we've all had our moments, you know. You, you have a few too many beers, you take a Sheila back to your swag, and then, I don't know, you just start overthinking things. Get in your head, you know, about cattle you've left in the yard the day before, or the fact you're too drunk to get back to work your wieners the next day. Happens to all of us, mate. Speaking of working your wiener, it's like any good tool, mate. You gotta use it or lose it. Unless it's a 10 mil socket, and in that case, you're guaranteed to lose it no matter what you bloody do. Anyway, all I'm saying is that everyone needs to harden up a bit. And I don't mean in the toxic masculinity way. Just harden up and get your head back in the game, you know? Yeah, you heard me, your head. All right, stop feeling so bloody embarrassed about, you know, if if, if talking about your pull start is harder than it is, if you know what I mean. Look, personally, I'm not a shy fella. If I go into a urinal and there's two blokes standing apart, I'll step straight up between them and start breaking the seal. No shame, straight out the gate and into it. But some blokes, they're more reserved. They'd rather go into a toilet cubicle, and that's fine. So when it comes to talking about stuff south of the border, so to speak, well, I don't blame fellas for being a bit shy about it. I mean, you don't want the doctor in town knowing all about your cocktail frank, knowing all your business. I mean, after all, you probably went to school with them. And the town matrons know better. I mean, the only time you want to see them is for a few stitches every couple years. And look, we can all go too hard sometimes too, especially when we're starting out. And fair enough, I mean, sometimes it's hard to ride time, if you know what I mean. And eight seconds, well, that's a long bloody time when you're out there, isn't it? Whether it be on a bull or in bed. All I'm saying is, is there's no shame in getting a bit excited and fumbling the ball before you've even stepped onto the oval if you know what I mean. You can't be a Lockyer every game, mate. Sometimes you're more of a Ben Hunt, and there's no shame in that. Ah, it's a compliment, if anything. I mean, I'd be flattered if someone was too excited to see me. I mean, I can understand it's not the kind of thing you want to tell the Royal Flying Doctor about. I mean, you'll start getting in your head again, worrying that they're sitting in every backwater pub, telling towns and towns of people about how, you know, you're all onion and no snag. So, you just keep it quiet. And then you start self-sabotaging yourself the minute anyone gives you the eyes at a local race meet or rodeo. And then you're stuck on this vicious cycle of either going too hard or not hard enough. I mean, I'd love it if it was as simple as just taking a can of start, you bastard, and spraying it down your jocks. So what do you do, bulls? You harden up. How? One word. Stagger. Yeah, that's right, stagger. Just like that walk you do from the bar to the toilet at midnight. Yeah, mate, stagger. They let you bypass all the awkward details so you can order whatever magic medicine you need online and straight to your door. Neighbor Charlie never needs to know. It's that easy. Ah, I mean, after all, life shouldn't be harder than you are. Ah, personally, I've, uh, I've never had any issues with that sort of thing. You? Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah. I just think it's a good thing. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, I might be in for a bit of rain, eh?